Hey everyone, it's Monica. Welcome back to Because Jesus Bible Journaling. Today, I'm so excited to announce this. I have created some Books of the Bible category tabs. So these are some tabs that you can add to your Bibles that do not necessarily denote each and every book of the Bible, but they go through and mark each category like Old Testament history, the Gospels, New Testament history, Paul's letters to churches, the apocalyptic books, All of those things are included in these tabs. It's a set of 11 tabs, and if you order them from my Etsy store, this will be sent to you electronically, digitally, via an email, and you'll be able to print this sheet of paper here with all 11 tabs. As you can see, the law, New Testament history, poetry and wisdom, all the things, major prophets, minor prophets, all of the various categories of the books of the Bible, which I think is really helpful to keep in mind as you study and read. In addition, you'll get the second page sent to you as well, just with some helpful tips and tricks along the way of how to install these into your Bible. And then at the very bottom, I have created a little chart for you. It's the Old Testament and New Testament, what the categories are, and which books of the Bible those categories span, if that makes sense. Now, there is also one other sheet of paper that will also be sent to you if you order these in my Etsy store, and that is a piece of paper that I just lightened up a little bit. So everything got a little bit lighter on this piece of paper, and I'm going to use that to actually install directly into my Bible. So you'll have both a darker and a lighter set of these tabs, depending if you want to trace the darker ones or if you want to use the lighter ones. In this case, I'm using the lighter ones here and I've printed them on a piece of drawing paper. I'm going to use those in an upcoming video to show you how I would add tabs in a Bible that already has Book of the Bible tabs. So again, these are categories and if you want to add categories to a Bible that already has books of the Bible, keep your eyes open. The next video is going to be about that. But today I'm using the darker copy of the tabs and I'm going to be actually tracing them onto vellum. So this drawing paper that I've printed the lighter copy on, I'm just going to set that to the side and we'll come back to it another day. But like I said, today I'm going to be using vellum to trace these and create some vellum tabs in my Bible. Here's some helpful tips and tricks as you go through this process yourself. You're going to want to go ahead and just attach the vellum to your paper somehow. I just used a little bit of washi tape there. And then I'm using this mechanical pencil. It's a very fine point light pencil. And I'm going through and I'm making my job a little easier when it comes to tracing these. I'm using this ruler as sort of a cheat to go ahead and get the straight lines down on the paper. It doesn't matter that the straight lines go right through the middle. You're going to be cutting these out anyway, so you don't need to feel like you need to do every little tab on its own. Just go ahead and get those straight lines down on the vellum if you're going to be using vellum for this. Now again, if you're going to go ahead and use the tabs themselves and print them on drawing paper or something like that and insert them directly into your Bible, you may want to use the ones that have a lighter width line on it just to keep it a little bit neater and you won't have to go through this whole process here of tracing each and every one and getting them onto vellum. Now if you are going to use vellum you might notice here I'm only tracing one half of the tab and here's why. When you fold these in half to be installed in your Bible if you've written on both sides you'll be able to see that because vellum is sort of a translucent transparent translucent paper. So I hope that makes sense. Basically, I've done the outline in pencil, and then I'm just using these Faber-Castell Pit Artist pens with writing tips to go through and add the lettering and any little details onto the vellum. You could also use Sharpies or anything like that. One of my main goals was just to make sure that whatever I use on these tabs is waterproof. In case I have a spill or something like that on my Bible, I just don't want to ruin these tabs that I'm putting so much work into. Now, as you can see, I'm just using these pens to outline some of the little flower details that are on these. There's four different types of tabs included in this set, four different sort of designs, and you'll be able to see those as we go along. So here's what we have so far. We've got the outline, the lettering, and the outline of all the little flowers and details. 
And next, I'm gonna go ahead and go through and cut these. I decided to use a paper cutter. If you don't have one, you don't need one. But again, this is gonna give me a step ahead of the game and help me do multiple tabs at once, just right along those straight edges. Obviously, I don't have a paper cutter for the little whoop-de-doo sides of the tabs, but you'll see that I come up with a really great way to deal with that as well, so that it's not too much of a headache cutting these out. I'm going through and just erasing any of the straight line remnants that may have been left behind after the paper cutter. And then I've grouped them by type of design and I'm just going through and adding some colored pencil into those areas that I had outlined in pen. This is just gonna really brighten it up and make it a little more vibrant. And I'm being consistent as I go through here. You don't have to, you could do each of those tulips a different color, each of the polka dots a different color. You could have a couple different colors of daisies. I just decided to go ahead and be consistent with mine but that's definitely just a personal preference. Now I'm learning along here as I go, as I film this video, I'm coming up with better ways to do this. This one I just grabbed and started hand cutting out the whoop-de-doo curvy edges on the sides of these tabs. And then I realized a trick. I didn't have to do that. So keep watching You're gonna see that I, I come up with a better way here. But after erasing the pencil marks, I went ahead and folded this. Now when you fold these, you wanna be sure that you fold along the center of the tab and not care as much about the outer edges. What really matters is that that center line is folded properly so that you can read your words on the tab without it getting folded over. And here's my little trick fold them first, then cut off the whoop-de-doo edges, and then erase any of the pencil marks that were left over. You guys, that was such a faster process. Once I figured this out, it made things go a whole lot faster. Go ahead and just fold first, and then trim off the edges, neatening up those edges by erasing any pencil marks that were left over. Now here is where I got even smarter, I went ahead and just started mass producing these for the remaining eight tabs. I went ahead and folded every single one of these eight little tabs, again, being careful to fold along the center line, not worrying as much about the straight edges of each tab matching perfectly. Really what matters more is actually getting that center line crease right on the dotted line that is on the diagram, and I'll show you that in just a second here as well, just to be clear. But then once those are all folded, I'm ready to go through, and honestly, this doesn't take hardly any time to then cut off the curvy edges here on every single tab. Initially, I was finding this task a little bit daunting and thinking this is gonna take forever. And then I figured out that this was actually a really quick way to get it done. Now, if you have a Cricut or something, you might be able to program it to cut out these tabs for you. And that would be incredible as well. Um, I don't have one of those, so I was just doing it by hand. And these tabs are just meant to look handmade, hand done, hand lettered, hand drawn, hand installed. It's just kind of a really fun look. Now, as you can see here, I am using my chart at the bottom to make sure that I get all of these little tabs in the right order for installing into my Bible. That's why I included that chart there is just so that you have a little helping hand along the way. Now I'm starting here in Genesis and the tab that goes in Genesis is the law and that's gonna cover the books Genesis on through, I believe Deuteronomy. And you can decide to go ahead and install these with some washi tape and that would make it removable later so that you could remove the tabs, change them out if you feel like it. I am opting to go ahead and just use a glue stick, some school glue here to insert them onto this page. You're gonna to wanna to affix the front of the tab to the front of the page and then fold over the back and kind of squeeze it snugly together. Now there's two more tabs. I've designed these so that there are three in a row and then they'll start the second row. And so in order to do this just the first time, and you guys won't have to do this, but in order for me to do it the first time, I went ahead and skipped the first middle tab and I went to the first bottom tab just because I wanted to really center up that middle tab and get it in the right spot. So I put my top tab at the very top and this bottom tab 
at the very bottom. And then I'm going to go backwards in the Bible. That was the Poetry Wisdom tab in Job, by the way. But now I'm going to go backwards and find where that middle tab, the Old Testament history, should go. And I'm kind of lining it up here and making sure that these three are approximately equally spaced. And this one just, by the way, goes in Joshua. And so I'm going to set it here and then I'm going to do some measuring as well to see if I can figure out exactly where it needs to be. Now here's a little pro tip and I'll probably be adding this to the installation instructions on the template. About six centimeters from the bottom of the page is where I set my center tab and that is what allowed it to be lined up and centered pretty much okay. So there's the first three done, the first full row of these Bible category tabs. I am going to keep going so that you can see the process just kind of over and over so that you become more and more comfortable with it. But I did have to kind of pack up and continue filming later that same day. Now the lighting got a little off here. I'm actually filming in a new and different location for me on the second half here. So just excuse, there's a little like bluish tint around the corners of the screen. I don't know, maybe you're not picking up on that, but I definitely noticed it and was like, oh, that's a little irritating. But no worries, we're gonna continue on here in the book of Isaiah, adding on this tab for the major prophets. Again, a little glue stick, and then I'm affixing the front of the tab before I affix the back and then folding it over and just giving some gentle pressure to hold everything together. Using that chart, referencing it again and again, just to make sure that I'm getting these tabs in the correct places. And this is so helpful, you guys, for me anyway, as I study, I'm more and more aware of what type of book of the Bible I'm in, whether it's the Gospels, Minor Prophets, anything like that. It's just good to have it in my mind, the context of this book amidst the greater, larger book of the Bible. So as you can see, I've sped this up, but again, I just want you to be able to see the process, how easy it is, how quick it is, and it's just really fun. I feel like if you are a person that likes paper crafting, you're just going to love this project. It's a little project and it gets done pretty quickly. So there is the finished category tabs in My Promise Bible. I am so happy with how these turned out. I love the look of the vellum. I love the colors and just the little details. And that is it. Here are some closer photographs of what these Bible category tabs look like. Let me know in the comments below. Do you like these? Should I try to make some for the books of the Bible? I don't know. This was actually quite a long process, enjoyable, but a long process, just the creating of these tabs. Even though the installation is pretty quick and easy, there was a lot of hours of work that went into getting them to be just the right size and lining them up and getting them all ready for you. I hope you enjoy them. Find me on Facebook and Instagram. You can subscribe to my Artsy Bits channel by clicking on that little button down toward the lower right corner. Jump into the Word of God for yourself today. It is amazing. Have a great day, you guys.